options and things like that that it needs. This obviously takes a little while. Fairly large archive, but there we go, it's finished. So then if you go to that's the whole memory card sorted and done. So then if you back out of your mount folder and run mount you mount mnt press return takes a little while while it writes an alt card okay so that's while it writes it there mounted now so i'll just unplug the memory card like so that to one side for the moment you need to power off your 900 the next thing you're going to do is flash it so we need to power it off and when it's powered off insert your memory card because obviously you need that in before you do anything else put your battery back in put the back cover back on that's an important point the back cover is on this won't work or oh, it's not on I should say then you need to grab your N900's USB cable hold down the U key on the keyboard and connect the USB lead you see the N900 should power on with the Nokia logo and a little tiny USB lead in the top corner you may not be able to read it very well because the backlight probably won't power on for some reason it doesn't do it then the command you need to run is as follows this is if you use the Z the kernel image that I have provided which I don't even know the name of yet it's over there somewhere type eventually. Like so. You also need to have boot menu installed on your device before you start doing this that if you've got the extras devil report in your application manager you can install it directly on the device without any major problems as you can see there that's the command you need to run again that'll be linked that's linked to on the thread on the forum post and etc etc so it's easy enough you don't have to bother trying to write that down from the video that is a fairly long command that side so if we then press return I'll just redirect this so you can see what the device does move all these stuff out the way got a new tripod for my camera that I'm still trying to fully master not having a lot of success at the moment right there you should be able to see the Nokia logo because it's in flashing mode I press return on this command it sends the command to the kernel and the device will restart. You'll get a load of junk scrolling on the screen. This will happen on every boot. But now you've got the inter you've got the boot menu there because you see I've got the keyboard open. If you don't have the keyboard open, you won't see that menu. If I pick, scroll down to Android, press return. You can mostly avoid, you can mostly ignore 90% of them error messages that pop up. And then you'll get the common Android load manager. Now 
this error message you can ignore because it's not just because there's no battery reporting on this particular OS at the moment you see me Wi-Fi is already connected up there so I've already configured this one there we go. the touch screen is by no means as sensitive but it does work eventually all devices there and running just show you in a fluke 1.6 I'll get a 900 now the only way I know of getting back out of Android at this precise moment in time on this device is to do that and pull the battery you pull the battery, pull your USB leave the uh, keyboard closed don't leave the keyboard open close it then wait. It'll boot up quite happily in a memo of its own accord. I think I'm going to have to split this video in two halves because YouTube only allowed 10 minutes. As you can see there, the device is fully powering back up again into Mabel. device is fully powered back up and I'm back connected to the internet yep, that's the whole of the how to done there hope you found that a bit useful so you can contact me on the thread or an IRC if I'm about if not there'll be somebody in there that can help you out thanks for the time